What is up, guys? Half Slab Bacon back with another 1.9 slash 1.10 survival tutorial. That's right, guys. 1.10 is here. Now, we started our survival tutorial in the very first 1.9 snapshot, so I think it's only fitting if we continue our world through the 1.10 snapshots. So we'll be changing the title over to reflect that we, we have both in the series. And I've gone ahead and started in creative and created a couple customized world before we go into our survival world because I wanna show you guys the changes. There's actually quite a few big ones. So let's check them out, should we? First one, as you can see, is we've had some changes to spawning in the mesas. Look at that, above ground mine shafts. So this is one of the major, major biome changes is this is a thing now, people. We are going to have with new generation mine shafts that spawn right at the surface in the mesas. Like, look at this, open to the sky. This is pretty cool, people. Um, now, I'm not sure in terms of what kind of loot we're going to find and all that stuff, but it's a pretty substantial, substantial. It actually makes me wish we hadn't found our, our Mesa and built our home in 1.9 because we're going to miss all this awesome new generation. You know what we're going to actually have to do is we're going to have to go on a search for yet another one. But you can see if we go up, and we fly around, they're quite a fair size. And I did a fly around, they also appear quite often, to be honest with you. Another one of the changes, guys, in the Mesa is, and we're gonna go down and see it right here, you can see gold. So we now have surface gold in the Mesas. This is a thing, people. And also those particle effects with falling sands and gravel and or floating sand and gravel, we now have this new particle effect you can see right there, which I think is awesome. So should you find a mesa, you'll be able to hunt surface level caves, whoop, nice lighting glitch there, and find gold scattered throughout. Now, I think I did a, yeah, see there's more there. I did a quick, just kind of hustle through this cave, just so we could find some, see there, so, in terms of UHC, it, it, it Mesa's just got a lot more interesting. So why don't we, we're just going to take a fly up because there's a lot to show you. So I don't want to spend too much time on any one thing. And now we have to find where I set our stuff up. Now there are some new blocks. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? And I totally forgot. I totally forgot, so let's go in our creative menu here and let's get some obsidian because we have to go to the nether and see the nether changes. And let's get, where's Flint show up? Can tell I spend a lot of time creative, don't I? Haha. <laughs> so let's, let's set this up because that is effectively one of our other biome changes is the end now has some additions as well. So let's go check it out, shall we? All right. Yay, I'm excited. We're going to have to venture further out in our survival world because of this. Oh, well, isn't that a great place to spawn? Can you say sudden death? And right next to... That looks like a massive... I love how big these... Uh, new whoa frame rate lag holy crap i love how big these new ones are it blows my mind okay um i was hoping to see some of the new blocks but i'm not seeing any guys and since we have so much to cover i don't think we're gonna spend too t much time flying around to show you um i think the snapshot must be a little buggy because i flew around uh, three different world generations looking for another feature naturally spawning in and didn't see it. And I'm not seeing our new block in the nether either. So, you know, as 
As usual with snapshots, there's stuff that needs to be worked on. Can we find... Don't tell me I got us lost. That would suck. That would suck. That would suck. That would suck. That would... No, there's our, our fortress. So we should have... Yeah, I can't believe... I can't believe I don't see a single block up in here. Not a single one. Oh, there it is. Yes, we found it. Okay, guys. So, some of the changes in the nether. One, and we're not going to see it because it's an incredibly rare spawn, is Enderman can now spawn down here. And two, as you can see, we have a new block. It is... Let's go into game mode zero because I'm gonna have to kill myself to get back I think that's gonna be the most efficient way but it is the magma block and as you can see it is giving us damage very slight damage it's kind of equivalent to like standing on cactus now the interesting thing is that when you do spawn or when you do die on it you don't lose any items I'm not sure if this is going to make the pigmen mad at me or not, but let's push them on and see what happens. It'd be cool if they do and they all attack and kill me. Do you get hurt by it? Okay, so no, pigmen appear to be unaffected by it. Um, yeah, I have to find my way home now, so I'm going to pause. Ah, forget it. That's not very sportsmanlike. Do I have anything essential? No, let's go. We're gonna die, people! We're gonna die! We're gonna die! I put a bed down and I slept, so... There we go. We're back at our bed. Alright, so we saw that change. Now, they've added some new, um, spawning stuff. And some new mobs, guys. So, here are our new spawn eggs. You can now spawn an Ender Guardian, who's probably gonna kill us. We can spawn... A wither skeleton who's definitely gonna try and kill us I'll punch you I'll punch you to death man I'll punch your face to death oh we've been weathered I should just let him kill me yeah there we go except now where's all my suck it dude I'm in creative Haha. <laughs> so yeah, we have the, the wither guy. And we now have a spawn egg for a donkey. You can spawn your very own doggy. You can spawn cats instead of having to spawn ocelots and tame them. And you can spawn the zombie horse. And there was a skeleton horse egg as well too. Did I not? I guess I didn't bring that one in. Now, before we cover our new blocks... Let's go over our new mobs. Dude, I don't even like you. Die. So the game just got more difficult in some aspects because we have, of course I spawn a baby. This guy who is called the Husk. You'll notice he looks like a zombie. He behaves like a zombie. He's a little more... Why don't we get... Um, let's just do it this way. Let's grab skeleton horse so we can spawn him in and let's grab a villager egg so you guys can see what happens um we'll sleep because it's better to do this at daytime oh yeah i can't sleep there's mods nearby so never mind that idea but we have a skeleton horse spawn egg and you will notice with these guys they are going to target the villager, and they will convert him into a zombie villager. So, these guys are a little problematic, because they're going to spawn in deserts. Uh, I believe they will spawn in mesas as well. And the most important thing to note, can I sleep now? Is, and this is very troublesome, look at this, guys. Well, wrong one. Notice... They're not burning up in the sunlight. They're fine. Also, 
if we switch into survival, watch this. He's giving me hunger. So not only can he kill me, but they're going to give you hunger. So you can't heal up while they're killing you or your healing is incredibly nerfed. Okay, let's go back into creative. Just because I want my spawn egg back. And our last new mob, guys. Well, not our last new mob, but... This one, I flew around. I created three cold worlds to spawn this guy in. And I couldn't get him. Can we get a baby? We have polar bears that are supposed to spawn naturally in the cold biomes. However, it appears that they are a pretty rare spawn because like I said I created three worlds and I wasn't able to I'm trying to get us a baby and it's not happening here come on how many of you guys I got to spawn in to get a baby come on spawn in I'm I'm pretty sure the polar bears a little bit bugged guys spawned in the babies no are any of you gonna what if I just there we go we got some with babies. Okay, so this is great. This is great to show you guys because, again, um, you know what? Let's just put the eggs in the chest so I don't have to pick them up. Okay, so we're going to switch back into survival here. And we got the husk after us, but you will notice when I approach these guys, they're passive. They're not bothering me. They're leaving me alone. But... When we go over here near the ones with the babies, you're going to notice they're going to get hostile as soon as we get near the... Well, they're supposed to get hostile. Yep, there we go, see? And they do a lot of damage, as you can see. And also, they can outswim us. So that's kind of a problem, guys. They can outswim us, and if you go near their babies, they get hostile. Now, let's get into our new blocks here. So we saw that we have the magma block. In addition, we have red nether brick now. And I love this, guys, for compacting stuff. We have a nether wart block and a bone meal block. So I thought I had nether bricks. No? Okay. We're going to have to switch back into creative. And we're going to have to get some nether bricks so I can show you this just give me give me a few so the crafting as you would expect with these is pretty simple on um, the bone blocks is strictly just nine bone meal the nether brick is as you would expect strictly just nine of the nether wart or the nether wart brick, I should say. And the red brick is a really easy one. Just like, isn't it like, I thought it was like so. It might be orientation. I thought I looked that up and it was like that. Is it like that? Um, what? <laughs> I don't know. Um, is it the nether bricks? I thought it was the, like the nether bricks. We'll take that. We'll take some netherrack. I'm pretty sure when I watched it was the bricks though. Is it like that maybe? Yes. Okay. So it's the nether brick plus nether wart. There we go. So that's those. Interestingly enough, and I, I flew around in spectator um, and I wasn't able to see any of these naturally in the world but let's take a quick peek and see if we can spot any here because i flew is that the start of one no it's not okay so the bone structures actually come into the worlds underneath in chunks not like in caves but in solid chunks in the walls and they kind of appear as if they are like fossils underground so you'll be able to go underground and find those and i think that's that's pretty cool okay do we have any husks around that are gonna try and kill us no um 
So let's go on to our stray and our Haas. So I wanted to show you guys with the magma cubes. This is going to be interesting. We can use these for mob farms, as you would notice. They're going to kill them. Haha, <laughs> sucker! You're going to die! Die! Now, something else to note is our strays. These guys will appear in the deserts, and you look, they're basically like a skeleton. They burn up like a skeleton, but look, we just got slowness. So, these guys could be pretty deadly in a pack because they're going to slow you, which means running around is going to be hard. Now I'm just getting my face beat. Okay, so he took him out. <laughs> That's great. Thanks, buddy. And did we get a regular? We did get a regular arrow. They do have a small chance of dropping, thanks, Mr. Ender Guardian, um, a slowness arrow. So those guys are going to be interesting. I'm curious if we're going to find them spawning in our Mesa desert. Because they spawn in regular desert. And so does the husk. I believe it's both. I'd have to double check. Anyways, another thing interesting with this, guys. And this is why it's going to be good for mob farms. Is notice our blocks? That's right. It doesn't break blocks. So we will be able to use those for mob farms. Now there are a couple other changes I wanted to show you. So just give me a sec and I'm gonna get us into another world. All right guys, so as you can see, village rendering or spawning in has changed. They now, similar to um, our lovely, lovely, lovely pocket edition, they now spawn with the grass pass, which is awesome. You had to figure they were going to go there eventually. And they now spawn with the biome specific wood, which I think is awesome. So again, just another copy over from uh, Pocket Edition features that have now moved over. As uh, they stated originally, they're going to try and unify both editions. The Windows 10 beta is essentially the beginning of that, even though right now it's pretty much all just pocket edition so very interesting i'm gonna switch us over to taiga so you can see that one all right guys so here's what the taiga looks like you can see it's making use of the spruce wood and you can also see in addition to the grass path blocks that it will now spawn bridges over top of water with wood planks which i think is pretty cool but also problematic with those husks running around i mean one of the things we need to do is we need to go protect our guys from that world because from our world sorry because that's that's going to be a problem you know they don't burn up during the day so villagers are in trouble in certain biomes now that's a pretty major thing also before we switch over to our survival tutorial I wanted to point out one thing they have done from Pocket Edition, guys. If you go into controls, they have auto jump now. So I don't know if you play Pocket Edition or if you like that. I'm going to have it off. I am not a fan. I don't like it in Pocket Edition. Uh, I find it, honestly, it causes me to misfire on doing things more often than not. But I've been playing long enough. I'm just used to having to hit the space bar. However, if you enjoy that feature in Pocket Edition or you're just new to Minecraft, that might be something you adjust to re relatively easy. For me, though, that's going off, guys. I'm going to keep it pure old school style. So, that pretty much covers the changes. Why don't we go into our 1.9 world and see what's up with that? All right, guys. We are now officially in 1.10. You can see the snapshot version up there. I am excited. Now, I came home to spawn because I figured it would be an appropriate place to start. So we can see if we see any of the bears or any of the, what did I call them again? The strays. And I made a mistake there. The strays actually spawn in cold biomes. The husk, the new zombie-like guy, they spawn in the warm biomes. 
So just thought I'd point that out. And we can see we don't see any bears, but that is definitely a stray over there. Just burn up and die. I don't want to fight you. I want to fight the stray. So let's go have a look at this. Let's let them hit us. Yep. They definitely move with the skeleton AI. I want to see. It does appear that we can still block their slowness with the shield. So that's good. And we didn't get any slowness arrows out of it. Oh, we did, I think. Guys, that's all. There we go. We got an arrow of slowness. So, you know, it might actually be worth farming those with the strays. I wonder if we'll get some in our mob farm. We'll have to see over time. Since, you know, we have this mob farm in a snow biome. It, it should be interesting to see if we actually get those or not. Because if we can farm those up, that would be pretty, pretty cool. And I think we're going to have to try and build a farm with the new, um, what do you call it? Block? The new blah, 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 magma block? Just to kind of check that out. It definitely seems a little bit more laggy, however, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. From my testing so far... It, they were finally getting the lag down in 1.94, and it seems like it's back in the snapshot. However, I'll take it. It's worth it. I don't see any bears. I was kind of hoping we would get bears around here. I see no bears. What the shiznay? But they, I'm, I'm wondering what's going on with their spawning, guys. They can't be that rare to spawn, and like I said, I created three all cold worlds in creative to try and show you guys and them in their natural habitats and i flew around for a good 10 minutes in each world and i didn't see a single natural bear spawn so i'm thinking they've got to work on that anyways um why don't i pause and i'm gonna get us to oh you know what I wonder if they spawn in the zombie spawners. We're going to have to check that out. Um, I'm going to go to... Actually, I'm going to go check the zombie spawner. Then we're going to have to go to our village and see if those husks are there. Because if they are, we're going to have some issues. And we're going to have to make some protective measures to protect our villagers. So give me a couple minutes, guys. I'll be our beats. Guys, I wanted to make sure you see this. Look at that. Enderman in the nether. Now, okay, he's aggro. Let's get over here. So they still aggro. He doesn't seem to teleport just because of the flame, though. Isn't that odd? Normally that would have caused him to teleport. Oh, here he comes. Still mad. I'll take those ender pearls, buddy. So, yeah, let's, uh, Let's head off to uh, our villages and see what's going on there. All right, guys, so I ran both the skeleton spawner for quite some time and the zombie spawner just now for a little bit as well. Put it this way, it was long enough to have dinner and uh, I don't see any of the new mobs spawning in them, even though they're in the right biomes for it. So at the moment, there is no changes to spawners as far as I know. There was nothing in the change log about the spawners being affected, but you know, they don't always put everything in the change log, so sometimes I like to see for myself. Kind of like the new mechanics with uh, the wither skeleton spawning. I figured we'd just get this done here while we're here. May as well, right? Now, I was kind of waiting it out for night and I sat at the spawner for a while and we haven't gotten night yet. Sun's going down though, so that's a good thing. Because I would really like to see if we get those husks out here. Because if we get those husks out here, that's going to be a problem for these guys. Isn't it? You freaks. 
I guess while we wait, we don't have a farmer here yet, and we need these guys to spawn a farmer in. So, let's grab some wheat. Yes, I know. I know. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Okay, guys, I'm gonna wait out the night. BRBs. Okay, guys, it's dark enough. We uh, should start to see some mobs spawning in here. Mm, that's not good. It's definitely too dark right here. You know, if this turns out to be an ongoing thing, like those husks or whatever spawning in the area, we might... I'm not too worried about this farm because this is not the one... You know, this isn't our cedar village, and I said in the past, I don't mind if... Uh, these guys die off because really what we're using them for is selection, right? So, well, you're a regular zombie. I mean, that's kind of what I want to see, but not what I want to see. Hi, spider. Do we see the new guys spawning up? Ah! You distracted me, you jerk. Hey, hey, shoot him in the face. Yeah, that's right. Both of you die. I'll just get out of the way. You guys fight amongst yourselves. Tough zombie, man. He survived that one. Normally, they lose out to skeletons. So, yeah. See, there he is. Oh, boy. That's gonna be a problem. Go away, dude. I don't like the fact that you guys don't burn up during the day. Um, hi, creeper. I wonder if we could slowness a creeper. That would be pretty cool. Dude, give me that chain armor. No, no. Chain armor? No. This is going to be a pro... Whoa, not a baby husk. No. No. I don't want hunger. Now, let's see what happens if we eat while we have this hunger. Okay, so it doesn't cancel it out, which is a problem. I don't want gold armor. I already got lots from my farm. Go away. I'll take that XP on my pick, though. Oh boy, guys, well, things just got a lot more interesting in Minecraft, that's for sure. Let's grab this XP up. Nope, our pick didn't take it. Off to the next village. All right, we're here and it's night. Let's take a look around, see what we see. Are we going to get... Because they weren't specific, guys, with the husks. They just said warm biomes. And this is... Plains. Okay, so Plains isn't considered a warm biome. It's semi-warm, but there is desert and stuff in the area. So, are we going to have a problem out here? We're definitely going to have to deal with the new guys in our mesa. That's a given. But what about over here? What are we up against at our cedar village? Because if we're going to see those guys, I think we need to, like, super tall fence in the whole area. Okay, I only see a regular zombie. And no husks. Or, wait, yeah, no husk. And no strays. That's the one I was looking for. I had a trip up on the names for a while, I think. Creeper... Skeleton, skeleton, no strays, no husks. Are we going to be safe around here? I should have grabbed a speed potion for this. Regular zombie. We might be in luck with our cedar village, guys. Because I'm not seeing any of the... I think we'll be okay over here. 
Oh no, is that a zombie villager? Please be a villager and not a husk. Yes. Dude. Okay, I think we might be okay here, guys. That makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. Well, things definitely just got a lot more interesting. I mean, considering you're not even safe during the day <laughs> anymore in Minecraft, depending on what biome you're in. I mean, you used to be, you know, still at risk in, like, um, the... Which biome is it? What's it called again? The really dense wood one? The one with all the dark wood? Roofed forests. Yeah, considering you used to be in kind of danger in the roof forests, that's, you know, that's not necessarily new that we're going to have this issue, but we now have it in a lot more biomes where it's just not safe, man. It's not safe, ever. Not even during the day. And that sucks a little. But it makes the game more entertaining, so I'm kind of happy about that. Yeah, I don't see any husks wandering around. And if they had spawned out here, they'd still be wandering around, that's for sure. So I think we're okay out this way. So you now know if you want to set up an infinite breeder village, guys, in 1.10, you are going to want to avoid the hot biomes. No more cedar village in the desert because you will definitely have an issue with the husks attacking your guys all day, every day. Hi, chicken. I stole your egg. Are you going to fight me? Oh, wait. That's Eric. They don't do that in, in Minecraft. Not yet, anyways. Who knows what could happen, though? Whoa. How are you guys doing? Are you still breeding up a storm? No, you've slowed down, huh? Oh, maybe not. There's a baby. All right, guys. Oh, you guys are breeding up a storm still? Maybe not. I keep taking, guys, so they're going to keep spawning as long as I keep taking, guys. Well, guys, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed checking out our 1.10 beginnings in our now 1.10 survival tutorial once again as always if you enjoyed guys be sure to smash that like button to show your support and help others that might enjoy these videos find them as well and if you haven't hit that subscribe button thanks for watching bye